Hello everybody, welcome to this uh, video comparison. Uh, today is December 30th, 2013. The year is about to be over. Uh, I want to wish everybody Happy New Year. And I want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for watching my videos, supporting my channel uh, all year 2013. I have way more things coming in 2014. And uh, let's go ahead and start recapping the specs on these two uh, laptop uh, slash uh, tablets. Uh, so first thing, they both come with uh, full Windows 8.1. Uh, this is the full version of Windows, so you can install any program, any app that you want. So on the HP MV X2, I'll show you guys how the computer around. Uh, we have right here the access to SD card, and this is a full size SD card. We get one uh, USB port, a uh, 2.0 on this side, the connector for the charger, on the other side, we have the full size HDMI port, another USB port, 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Uh, as far as a processor, we get a 1.80 dual core processor Intel Atom uh, with 2 gig of RAM. Uh, resolution is basically 720. Both uh, tablets have the same screen resolution. And um, as far as the RAM, both comes with 2 gig of RAM. Uh, on the HP Envy, we have a, I believe it's a 1.2 megapixel, or it might be 2 megapixel from facing camera. And then on the rear, uh, we get an 8 megapixel camera with flash, and we can also do 1080p video with this one. Uh, right here on the back, we see the power button, volume rocker. And then when we remove the tablet or the monitor from the keyboard, Right here on the bottom, we see the connector for the DAC keyboard to charge the tablet. There's another 3.5 millimeter audio jack right here and a micro SD card reader uh, as a part of the tablet. So you can add micro SD card reader here and also uh, right here on the keyboard. Uh, so this is as far as the HP. Let's put this aside here for a second and uh, let's uh, talk about the ASUS now. So on the ASUS, uh, one more thing on the HP, it's 11.6 inches. And the price on this uh, one year ago when this came out was about $640. Uh, you might get it for $600 now, maybe a little less. On the ASUS, uh, this is a 32 gigabyte uh, version. I believe you can get it in 64. Uh, the price is $379 with the two, uh, 32 gigabyte. So as far as the specs, uh, this one comes with a 1.3 gigahertz quad core, uh, two gig of RAM, uh, the new uh, CPU uh, system uh, Bay Trail. So this is gonna be better and faster than the HP with the Intel Atom. Uh, two gig of RAM, doesn't have rear camera. It does have a webcam. Uh, and I believe it's a 1.2 megapixel webcam. Uh, as you guys can see, full size keyboard, but the keys are small because this is just a 10.1 inch uh, screen size. Uh, mouse pad is uh, small in comparison here to the uh, HP MB. As you guys can see, there's a big difference there in terms of the mouse. Um, as far as the port, uh, it comes with 3.0 USB port, which is nice. It's going to transfer the information faster. Uh, here on this other side, we don't have anything. And then right here on the tablet, we get a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, a micro USB uh, port, an HDMI port. And we also get a micro SD card reader right here. So you're pretty much uh, getting the same port that you get with the HP, but these are micro. Uh, you don't get a second uh, USB port like you get with, I'm sorry, I take that back. The USB port is right here, the other one. So anyway, so those are the main specs. Uh, as far as a battery life, uh, both computers offer pretty much the same. Uh, we're looking at maybe 14 to 16 hours of battery when they are connected to the dock keyboard. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, start with a quadrant test or benchmarking test uh, to show you guys how the performance. 
All right, guys, uh, we're going to start the benchmarking test. We're using Nova Bench, which is a free uh, software. Uh, I apologize for the reflection here in the light, so let's go ahead and start the test. All right, so we have the results for the test. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the HP. On the HP, we get a score of uh, 250 points. Uh, this software measures uh, pretty much everything. It detects uh, the hardware, processor, Windows version, and everything that we have installed on the computer. Uh, it measures the RAM, the CPU, graphics in uh, 3D, hardware tests. Uh, so anyway, so 250 points on the HP. Uh, on the Asus, we get 355 points also. This is pretty much uh, 105 points above uh, the HP. And uh, just to show you guys a comparison, I have right here the an Acer Aspire 1756. Uh, I got this computer probably like about a year ago. So as you guys can see, the score is uh, 301 points. This computer is really, really fast. I have a 1.40 uh, dual core processor here. Um, 8 gig of RAM on this uh, uh, laptop. This is an 11.6 inch laptop. Uh, really good uh, laptop for the money. You can get this right now for about $230 at Walmart. Uh, one of the few laptops that lets you upgrade up to 8 gig of RAM. Uh, so anyway, so 301 points with this uh, laptop. And uh, again, look at the ASUS, so 355 points. Uh, so that shows you guys how uh, powerful or good performance you're going to get with this, uh, you know, laptop slash uh, tablet not only you're getting a good performance but you're getting a good battery life when you put it together with a keyboard uh, full windows so uh, let's go ahead and uh, open different applications with both and see the performance all right guys uh, let's go ahead and start with browsing experience so we are looking at the uh, windows 8 uh, mode right now here's the desktop mode and uh, let's go ahead and uh, open the explorer uh, when it comes to browsing experience they both offer really good performance a really good experience uh, so we're looking at YouTube right now here here's YouTube on the HP uh, zoom in and zoom out works really good uh, because of the high definition on both the text uh, gets uh, really clear and easy to read uh, let's go ahead and open a different window. We have actually Best Buy here. Uh, let's go to the same website right here on the ASUS. Uh, there is a Best Buy. So as you guys can see, they open the pages uh, pretty quick. Uh, let's open one more website. Uh, let's go to uh, CNN. And one of the cool things about this uh, Windows 8.1 is that you can set up in the settings uh, to give you suggestions. So as you're typing, uh, you don't even have to finish typing. And it's going to show the name of the website. So you just click on it and it takes you there. So here it says CNN. Uh, really cool uh, uh, display, like I mentioned it before. Uh, the text that gets uh, really clear. Zoom in and zoom out really easy and quick. Uh, very responsive on both uh, one of the cool things uh, about and this is about Windows 8.1 it had nothing to do with these uh, tablets but I just want to show you guys uh, it's, uh, this uh, feature right here it's called a uh, reading list I'll bring it close to the camera reading list so basically if you're looking at the Explorer let's say you're looking at this page right now uh, you have to go, you don't have time, whatever. You really want to finish uh, reading this article. You can swipe this uh, to the left right here, click on share. 
and then click on reading list. So basically, basically it's going to give you the option to add that, that article or that page to your reading list. Click add. Now it's added to the reading list. So let's say you came home, whatever, you want to finish reading that, uh, but you don't, you, I mean, you got out of the Explorer or whatever. So you go right here to reading list. There is a page on the article that I was uh, looking at. Uh, so that's a really cool feature with the Windows 8.1. Uh, so that's as far as a Windows Explorer. Uh, the other thing that I want to show you guys as far as the browsing experience is the fact that, uh, like I mentioned before, this is full Windows, not Windows RT. So we can actually install any program. We have installed on both uh, Mozilla Firefox. And we're going to see if we can open Mozilla here and show you guys uh, the browsing experience. All right, guys. So we have Mozilla Firefox here in the desktop mode. Um, now, when it comes to the touch, it's not going to be as easy or as responsive as uh, the other mode when you are actually in the 8.1 uh, Windows uh, Live tiles. Uh, this is not that optimized when it comes to the touch because this is desktop mode. You can still do touch, but it's going to be not as uh, responsive. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can access, uh, let's say, Yahoo. And uh, here's uh, the keyboard, and there's Yahoo. Let's see if we can do it at the same time. So it looks like the ASUS uh, opening the page a little bit faster. And of course, you know, you can add more uh, tabs. Just, you know, basically do anything you want. Like you're using a regular uh, desktop computer, if you want to call it like that. Um, no limitations when it comes to software uh, or programs, even hardware. I mean, you can install uh, a regular um, external mouse. Uh, and use it with these computers if you wanna if you have it connected to the dock keyboard and you don't wanna use uh, the mouse pad, you can use an external mouse with a USB port or USB adapter. Uh, okay, so that's as far as the browsing experience. Now I wanna show you the camera's interface on. All right, so let's start with the ASUS. And as far as the camera interface, I mean, this is pretty simple. It only offers uh, the webcam. It doesn't have rear camera. Uh, you can still take pictures and then you can do video. And uh, as far as the settings, you know, it gives you the, the option for timer. Uh, so that's as far as that. Uh, let me show you guys a couple of pictures uh, taken here with the front facing camera. Uh, that's a picture in uh, 1.2 megapixel. Not bad for a front-facing camera. And uh, here's a video. Sorry, that video was in Spanish. But anyway, so that's as far as the video, pictures camera interface obviously you're not going to use this tablet uh, for taking pictures with the front facing camera but you have the option if you need to uh, when it comes to the HP this is a complete uh, different story you know you get the front facing camera and you get a rear camera with a megapixel and flash um, so here's a, a interface for the camera uh, so you get zoom right here Here's a switch uh, between camera and video. And of course we can do 1080p with this camera. And as far as uh, you get flash right here, you get some settings right here. Right here we get more options. Now as far as uh, samples, uh, let me show you guys a couple of samples here. Uh, with uh, the rear camera, 8 megapixel pictures. It takes uh, actually very good pictures. So that's a picture taken with the rear camera, 8 megapixel resolution. 
as you guys can see looks really clear there's another one Um, so yeah, when it comes to the uh, the HP, you're gonna get better uh, pictures and video, plus uh, the rear camera with flash that you don't get with the ASUS. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, look at other applications now. So one of the cool things about this uh, Windows 8.1 uh, tablet uh, slash uh, laptops is that uh, the Windows Store offers so many different applications for YouTube that makes it so easy to watch videos in high definition without any advertising now. So here's this app uh, on the Asus uh, YouTube RT. I believe that was a paid app like $2 or something like that. You can sign into your profile, you get the, the access to uh, newest subscriptions, uh, favorites, watch later and all that. Here's uh, this one with the HP, uh, where it said right here. This is a really, really good app, a uh, Prime Tube. It offers a really nice uh, interface. And again, same concept. You can sign into your profile, get access to uh, your uploads, as you can see right here, your favorites, uh, your subscriptions, etc., etc. So uh, let's go ahead and play a couple of videos. And here's uh, this uh, video right here. Uh, with the ASUS Actually, let's do the same video. Yeah, I mean my plan is simple like I'm there to win. There's nothing else like I'm, I'm here to win You know, obviously, you know championship there to win that but I think yeah, to, I mean, to win championship you gotta learn how to win races There's nothing else like I'm, I'm here to win, you know, obviously, you know, championship there to win that I mean a lot's changed, you know, the market's changed a lot. I mean mentality wise it's changed a lot and, uh, all right, so as you guys can see, it opens the video right away. That's in 1080p. Not only that, but I can uh, fast forward the video right away without getting any buffer or anything like that. It will continue playing the video. Um, so that's as far as YouTube uh, 1080p. Uh, as far as the speakers, I don't know if you guys can tell. I mean, the audio is uh, it's decent, it's clear, it's not too loud. Uh, the speakers on the ASUS are located right here. That's one. Uh, the other speaker is uh, right here on this other side. Uh, they're pretty decent. Uh, on the HP, uh, the speaker is uh, all this uh, part right here across the laptop at the bottom. That's all a speaker okay guys now we're taking a look at maps and uh, let's go ahead and change the style for the aerial view uh, you can get the uh, directions uh, but you don't get navigation with the tablets uh, so let's see if we can uh, find something let's uh, Actually, it shows uh, suggestions right here. Let's click on eat and drink. So as you guys can see, they work pretty quick. Uh, they display a bunch of different uh, options as far as uh, restaurants and all that close to me. And uh, there is a pizza hut here. Let's see if we can navigate or at least uh, get the directions. And we click here. So there's the directions. Um, like I said, it doesn't give you the option for navigation, but at least you get the directions. And if we zoom in, this uh, map style is really, really cool. And because of the definition on these uh, screens, it looks super nice. Uh, the buildings looks all in uh, 3D. So that's really cool. So that's as far as the maps and addresses. Uh, let me show you something else now. Uh, if we swipe to the right, we get access to everything that we have open. So as you guys can see, it goes really fast in between everything we have open and it doesn't slow down. Uh, same thing with the ASUS. 
Uh, one of the cool things also about this uh, Windows 8.1 tablet is that you can look at two different applications at the same time by just uh, swiping the finger to the right. So we're looking at the CNN website right now. Uh, so there we have uh, maps and the website. Um, the cool thing about that is that uh, if you... Uh, Let's say you're looking for some information right here on their website, but you also want to have the map open to look for a direction or something. Uh, you can do that. You can see the map doesn't affect here the website. Same thing here. So that's a cool feature right there. Here's the access to all the applications and programs that we have installed on our computers or laptop. Uh, the other thing too, an advantage of the ASUS is that it comes with a full year of uh, Microsoft Office. The HP only comes with uh, 90 days and I already used it. Uh, it. It worked pretty good. As you guys can see, I have right here all the different uh, programs of uh, Microsoft Office. So yeah, it was just uh, 90 days uh, on the ASUS. Uh, you get a full year. Uh, so right here, when we access, you get the option to uh, buy, activate, or try, and it gives you right here 365 days. So that's a cool thing. Another cool thing about the ASUS is that it also offers the ASUS uh, web storage. Uh, if I'm correct, if I remember correctly, I believe you get up to like a thousand gigabytes out for, I think it's for a year. Uh, that's really convenient because this tablet only comes with 32 gigabyte internal storage so that will be really nice uh, getting a thousand gigabyte so you just have to sign in or sign up whatever create an account and then you get access to that uh, so other than that here's a application for the weather on both uh, it offers a very detailed uh, information when it comes to the weather. Some maps, graphics. Um, so yeah, I mean, so far it works pretty good. As you guys can see, it opens everything really quick. So guys, I think I'm going to conclude the review right here. Uh, my final conclusions, uh, when it comes to the ASUS, I really, really recommend this uh, tablet. I think this is, we are at the point with this uh, tablet and the performance that I think this is actually a good replacement for a regular laptop, like the one that I showed you earlier at the beginning of the video. Uh, this, this thing not only has a good performance, but good battery life, high definition screen. Uh, you get the full window, so you can install any program uh, or e even hardware, like I mentioned before, use some uh, external mouse, uh, DVD burner, whatever you want. Um, price seven, uh, 379 again, you get a micro USB port, micro HDMI, uh, micro SD card reader to add more memory. You get the full uh, Microsoft Office uh, for one year. And then you get uh, the extra storage with the ASUS uh, web storage. Uh, so guys, thanks for watching. Again, this is the ASUS Transformer Book uh, T100 with his dark keyboard. And this is sell together. So guys, uh, thanks for watching. See you later. Happy New Year.